Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Learn Smart Coding. This is Karthik. Thanks for joining with me today. So in this video, what I'm going to cover is how to add the authentication and authorization part in your Angular application. The concept that I'm going to use is very popular one and very secured one, which is Azure Active Directory Business to Consumer. In short form, we will call it as Azure AD B2C. So we will go through the Azure AD B2C concepts and we will also see how to do the app registration and configure these things in your web API and the Angular application. In this video, we're going to see how to set up the Azure Active Directory B2C tenant. This is part two of the series and come, let's take a look. So on my screen, I have opened the Azure portal by going to azure.portal.com and click on the uh, create new resource and type in Azure Active Directory B2C. You'll see this opening up. Okay, so this is where you have to create uh, the Azure Active Directory B2C. So click on create. It's going to show you a page. So there are two options because first time we're going to create the tenant, we have to choose the first one, but second one is to link if you have already have the tenant created. Okay, so let's choose the first one, click on it. It's opening up. So very basic thing. Uh, you need to provide the organization name, the domain name, the unique domain name that you wanted to create. Okay, so let's provide an organization name called Learn Smart Coding. And uh, what we will do, let's give uh, a name for the domain. Okay, so it has to be unique. Uh, whatever I'm trying, it's already taken. So let's try something uh, unique name. I'm going to provide Learn Smart Coding B2C demo. So you see this, there's a tick mark. Once you tab out, there's a tick mark. So this domain name has not been taken. So I'm going to take that. And you provide your country or region where you reside. So I'm going to leave this as United States. I'm in United States right now. So subscription, you have to choose whatever subscription you have. And then uh, the resource group. Either choose the existing resource group or you can create a new resource group which will be uh, you know tied to only to this active directory okay so i'm going to provide a new one lsc learn smart coding dash b2crg okay so i can identify later or delete the complete resource group so that is why i'm doing this so just click on okay and then click on review and create okay so it's going to validate something and tell you everything is good we are good to go so we can hit down create and that's going to create uh, the details that is showing on the screen all right, so the deployment initiated, it takes a couple of minutes. So let's uh, quickly skip that couple of minutes and uh, let me show you what happens. So it's created now. I'm gonna click on whatever has created, right? The new domain. So let's click on this and it's going to uh, create a new tab. Okay, so the new tab, let's go to that new tab and it's going to reload and come back to that place. And here's the one. So this has been now created okay but it's showing in blue color and this is the one which is uh, the original subscription so you can also choose uh, the switch directory and if you come to switch directory from the top profile page it is going to list down all the active directory that you already have see if you are doing this for the first time uh, you will see the previous uh, default one and the new one okay i already created three things along with this video so i'm showing uh, i'm able to see three things okay so the first one is the active directory b2c demo which is current meaning which is selected currently okay and um, and if you see the title bar it's blue color right so let's do some nice theme adjustment to differentiate uh, different uh, directories so click on this setting which is in the top and uh, what you can do is so click on the setting and you see this uh, there's an option called appearance and startup view you i'm going to choose a different view just to differentiate uh, the active directory of the one that we just created and the previous one okay so i choose the black color so whenever you see black color on my screen that's the new active directory okay for the original one it will show it in the blue color okay so you see this the original one is in blue color okay Fine, so what we have to do is we have to go to the one that we created and uh, this is the uh, the active directory tenant that we created, okay? And you can always choose to have this Azure AD B2C in the search box and you will land up here. So once you land here, there are a couple of things that we will quickly go through. See, app registration is something that we will do it in the next video where we need to register the applications here. Identity providers are something that, uh, you know, commonly used Facebook, Apple, you know, the uh, Google, LinkedIn, so many identity providers that supports this. So we are going to see one by one. By default, it is a local account, okay? Meaning the username and password is uh, created and stored in the, the store itself. 
the microsoft store itself okay and then user attributes these are the built in attributes you see this there's it's these are the built in attributes you can actually create your own attribute name it give a description provide a data type so these are the attributes that will support us to collect information from the users okay now if you click on users this is the default user that was created when i created the active directory account okay you can see the audit logs you can see the sign in logs like when we uh, complete this complete app you'll be able to see uh, you know audits and sign in logs that users are coming in okay like i said in the previous interaction you have a lot of good things here and then um, the user flow user flow is very important we will see in the couple of videos from now so that will help us in showing up sign in sign up password reset and all those pages so for this clip we are done and the next clip will tell you and the next clip will show you how we will create the user flows comments thanks for watching if you like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel like it share it comment it and never forget to click on the bell icon